Day 2 of the 17th session of the General Conference of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, opened with a series of focus group discussions in the Knowledge Hub on a range of topics from biotechnology, industrial parks, to sustainable cities. The development of IT in a local sense can very much contribute to raising SMEs in local communities where people can nowadays export IPs in standing of only exporting goods. And that is in the context of localization also helping very much to drive inclusive and sustainable development. Thailand uh, has come up with a new development strategy that focuses on uh, inclusiveness and also sustainability. And we call this Thailand 4.0. A number of plenary and main committee meetings were held throughout the day. Under the overarching theme of this year's General Conference, Partnering for Impact, Achieving the Sustainable Development Goals (SDGs), UNIDO's fourth donor meeting highlighted the contribution of donors to UNIDO's work. The meeting included panel discussions focused on some of UNIDO's top donors, including the European Union, Finland, Japan and Sweden. Several success stories were presented. The selected stories presented today will provide uh, first-hand accounts of important achievements for communities throughout the world. Japan collaborates with UNIDO on a wide range of projects, from fostering technology transfer through the low-carbon, low-emission, clean energy technology transfer program to creating sustainable livelihoods for communities affected by the influx of Syrian refugees in northern Lebanon. The partnership between Sweden, Finland and UNIDO supports the development of industrial skills and the panel discussion highlighted progress made towards establishing efficient, market-oriented vocational training systems in Africa. Quality infrastructure is a key theme for the cooperation between the European Union and UNIDO. In Nigeria, a UNIDO project is strengthening the national quality infrastructure and helping overcome trade barriers, for example those faced by dried bean producers. As a direct result of UNIDO's intervention, renewed exports could potentially create more than 20,000 additional jobs. So developing countries can benefit by reshaping their industry in a more sustainable way, by producing and consuming in a more intelligent way, by recycling more and having more sustainable solutions. Uh, what's important that all international institutions like our bank, like UNIDA, other international financial institutions, they should try to combine their efforts. It is very important not to work side by side, uh, not to work separately, but to combine efforts and in order to get a uh, final result. Immediately after the donor meeting, the Nigerian government hosted a side event on Nigeria's economic recovery and diversification, which took place in parallel to other Knowledge Hub sessions. In the afternoon, the Vienna International Center hosted its first ever TEDx Talks. Focusing on the circular economy, the talks were opened by the Director General of UNIDO, Li Yong, and by Daniel Kaleha Crespo, Director General for Environment at the European Commission, who argued for the economic, environmental and social benefits that could be gained by implementing circular economy practices at all levels. This is the circular economy. This is re reuse, recycle, maximizing the resources and minimizing waste. I always say I'm a fan for renewables. Now I change, change my idea. I'm a fan for circular economy. The event brought together numerous well-known speakers who are very active in the areas of the sharing economy, greener production and climate impact. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your trust in UNIDO and thank you for your continued support and the cooperation. Uh, I uh, believe that uh, we, through this kind of activity, we will uh, receive more support and including the comments, suggestions, and I'm looking forward to working with you with uh, more support from all of you. Thank you very much.